So today we discuss uh, who should we pick at Ruck 2 uh, in the R2 slot. And I've narrowed it down to Gorn, Naismith and English and I'll go over each three. There are other options if you want but these three look the most likely. So yeah, we'll discuss that. And just quickly, I haven't done a podcast or a video in feels like a while. Um, just because my computer hasn't been working, but it is working now, so we have all the software to work with, so it should be good. And yeah, podcast uh, Friday morning will be out, so please like us, uh, Supercoach Take on Twitter and Facebook, uh, if you want, that'd be great. So, yep, that's that. So Max Gorn, for me, the, uh, when thinking, you know, who we pick at R2, I think the answer is Max Gorn, uh, unless one of three things. You're not happy with this preseason. For me, I was a bit iffy, but then it looks like he's going to be right. And the fact that he played a March 2 game, or they just managed him for half a game, says to me he should be right. So I've seen enough to suggest that he'll be fine. Um, still did the three months, two or three months, whatever it was, of the pre- of the preseason before that. So he should be fit. Um, so yeah, I've seen enough there, but if you're not happy with the preseason, that's fine. Um, Another reason is if you really think uh, English is going to break out, I'll speak about English in a second, but um, he looks really good and a lot of preseason stuff, has, a lot of articles have been written on him, um, a lot of his teammates have been endorsing him, we'll get to that in a second. And the other thing is if you go on the Naismith route, um, the reason would be if you're picking Max Gorn, we're all paying a lot of money in the midfield, I assume we're all picking Whitfield as well. Uh, plus Grundy, that's that's a huge amount of money and it can stretch the rookies out. We might end up with, it is possible that we start, uh, might be forced to start with a donut on the bench, which is not ideal. I don't think anyone wants to do that or probably anyone should do that. But that's something that could happen um, if we don't get the rookies and maybe you want to start a donut rookie um, or you just need to stretch out your premiums a bit more. Whereas, you know, if you have someone at R2 playing, um, that way you probably won't have this issue. I don't think it'll happen. The only reason why I thought it was going to happen was I think Stasevich and Devin Robert, Robertson um, kind of they were given an inch and took a mile and I think they get named around one. So that might have saved us along with Curtis Taylor came from nowhere. So we really needed those three rookies and so um, that's that. Um, so yeah, unless you have your reason for not picking Gorn, otherwise... Gorn is a captain option. I think as I read on Twitter, a supporter spoke to him at training and Gorn told him, you know, don't trade me out of your super coach team. So you trust Max Gorn. He's one of he, I think he's the best player in the league, to be honest. That's just me. Um, but yeah, big fan of Max Gorn. So I, I think Max Gorn is the answer, unless you have some sort of reason not to, that I've said before. But we'll just go over Naismith quickly. Uh, so Naismith... Played okay, he beat Jacobs and he kind of played Goldstein in the second game. Didn't do a whole lot in the second half, um, but that's fine. He hasn't really played in a long time and he's only 250k. Probably want him to average 80. That's I think that's what you'd want and that way he can get to maybe make 150k, maybe a little bit less, something like that. I can't remember the maths exactly for it, but I remember, I'm pretty sure it's around that mark. Um, and then we can look at his injury history. So his injury history, glandular fever two or three years ago, then had osteitis pubis, and then the last two years, I think he's been recovering from a knee reconstruction. Pretty nasty, but I think he's been in full training since January, I believe. I think he, well, that's the last time I heard him say he was fully fit in January, so that's a good sign. Um, and in an interview, he said his goal is to play 22 games. Uh, he's missed out a lot of his career due to injury or illness, and you know he wants to make the most of it now. So, Naismith for two fifty k, it's I don't think it's the worst option. Um, but yeah, if you think we're going to end up needing to stretch our rookie uh, stretch our premiums out because of a rookie shortage, um, or maybe you really really like Naismith or you're not happy with Gorn, I think you can go for Naismith. But again, I'll still be going with Gorn. But I think there is a case. For Naismith, he is super injury prone. Um, we might have Bailey Williams um, in defence. So if uh, Naismith goes down, we can swing Bailey Smith, uh, Bailey Williams into R two, which would be a bit 
which I think would make it very difficult to get to Gorn then. But something that is something that could happen. Or you can run Segler at F2. I'm not going to speak too much on Segler, but I think he's in, he's not the worst pick, uh, Johnny Segler. Then the next player we have, Tim English. No speaker English, um, as I like to call him. So basically, in the preseason, I pretty much said, you know, I was monitoring English and Riley O'Brien. Riley O'Brien has done himself no favours. He's looked like he's regressed or out of form or something. Um, not sure what happened. Maybe it was just a bit rusty or something, but he was dreadful. He looked super uncoordinated, so I, he, I took him out and put him Gorn back. But I did consider Tim English. The reason being is I think there's just a lot of what we've heard from the Bulldogs is we're saying, you know, English has put on a lot of weight. He's eating two, three times, no, every two, three hours. Um, looked really good on the weekend. So, I don't mind English. I think Sam Lloyd compared him to... He said he could compete with guys like Brady Grundy. Kind of comparing him to Grundy. And, like, Grundy and Gorm, this is... They are Federer and, and Nadal, pretty much. Um, I guess, and Djokovic, if there was a third equivalent. Whereas, you know, everybody else is not even close. And that's been that way for two years. So... I like English's game. He really beat up on Lysette when he was on the field. So, I don't mind this pick. I think you want him to average 105 at least, and I think he can do that based on what we've seen and all the articles and the endorsements he's been given by teammates. Um, another thing is you can flip him during the buy. So, he is the, English has the last buy round, um, and you can turn English into Gorn then. So... Sounds okay, to be honest. Um, perfectly fine if you want to pick English, in my opinion. I'm doing everything I can to get Max Gorn in. Um, but yeah, I think that's the case for those sort of players. And uh, let me know who you're picking. Um, I think a lot of people are just saying, oh, you're an idiot if you're not picking Gorn. I mean, I think it's good to look at all the options. So I'll just say that. Um, but yeah, I want to go with Max Gorn. I'll do everything I can to get him. And yeah, probably 90% chance he's my R2. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.